Let's talk about a camera that's been a hot topic here on YouTube. The Sony ZV-10. It's been on the market for a couple of years now, but the question remains, is still a great choice for 2024? Let's break it down and see if this little camera can still hold its own. But first, a quick philosophy check. It's crucial to understand your gear's limitation. As long as they don't hold you back from creating goes awesome content, there's no need to upgrade. Just focus on your creative process, not the latest spec. Now onto the ZV-10 strengths. This tiny monster features a 24.2 megapixel APS-C sensor and it's capable of recording 4K at 30 FPS or smooth 120 FPS slow motion in Full HD. Plus it comes with a versatile Sony E-mount allowing you to explore a vast range of lenses. Video creators will love the ZV-10 ability to shoot in pro-grade picture profiles like HLG and S-Log3. However, keep in mind that's an 8-bit camera. Color grading may require a bit more finesse. Another great feature, the ZV-10 doubles as a fantastic webcam. Simply connect it to your computer via the USB-C without any additional hardware or software. The fully articulating touchscreen is perfect for vloggers and content creators who frequently shoot themselves. And while there is no viewfinder, the screen offers great versatility even for photographers. But unfortunately, this camera is not perfect. As I said before, the ZV-10 records footage in 8-bit, which might not be ideal for professional color grading workflows that requires 10-bit capture. Additionally, it lacks in-body image stabilization or IBS, and while it offers in-camera software stabilization, it has a significant 1.6 crop. But don't worry, you can use a free Sony software called Catalyst Browse to take advantage of the gyroscopic data recorded by the camera. This way you can get gimbal-like footage even with your shaky hands, often with no more than a 10% crop on your video. The sensor technology is getting old and while it might not be the absolute latest, that doesn't mean that it can produce stunning images and videos. Now why I love the ZV-10 as a first camera is phenomenal. It's compact, it can swap lenses and it's packed with a lot of nice features. It's perfect for beginners or even as a secondary camera for existing Sony shooters. Plus, you can find great deals on the used market. This said, you get incredible value even for the full price, and it's a great entry point into interchangeable lens cameras. A quite nice thing is that this camera will grow with you. If you're completely new to photography or videography, start an intelligent auto mode and let the camera handle the rest. And when you're confident enough, you can explore manual controls and advanced features like S-Log profiles. Unlike the ZV-1, you can swap lenses and explore a lot of possibilities within the solid E-mount ecosystem, which is plenty of options for you to discover. Also, APS-C lenses are usually more affordable than their full-frame counterparts, so you can upgrade at a cheaper price. Some potential drawbacks are that the ZV-10 packs the small MPFW50 battery, so don't expect an infinite lifespan. I usually get around one hour of recording, but you can consider some extra batteries for longer shoots or even a power bank, since you can charge it via USB-C. And while 8-bit color is not a deal breaker if you're starting out, it might be for intermediate users. Also, APS-C sensor has small nerves, so it may not perform as well in low light situation compared to a full frame camera, but you always can use some extra lights or faster lenses. So, is it still worth in 2024? Absolutely, the ZV-10 remains an outstanding value proposition for beginners and content creators on a budget. And while there are some limitations, they are easily outweighed by the benefits. This video was even filmed with the Sony ZV-10. But if you can wait, rumors of the ZV-10 Mark II are out, and they're saying that it will be on the market this year, so it might be worth waiting for potential upgrades. But overall, the ZV-10 is a fantastic choice for anyone starting their content creation journey and looking for a camera that won't break the bank and can grow with their skills.